one of my most asked questions is how can I identify AI generated text without using a website or is there a website? And I would say the answer is there isn't a website. They are all untrustworthy. I wouldn't recommend any of them to be able to identify any kind of AI generated text. Sometimes they have false negatives, sometimes they have false positives, and it's really, really difficult. But there are some ways that you can, by eye, manually look for and identify AI generated text, which is what I do as someone who marks essays and looks at academic writing all the time. I feel like it's really easy to find and figure it out now based on these things. The first is over polished language. So language that is just way too perfect. No human writes in perfect sentences of the same length every single time. And even if you look at my PhD thesis, I have numerous spelling mistakes, even though I went through a billion times, but this is normal for human writing. But sometimes AI writing can be a little bit too uniform and a little bit too perfect. And that's the first thing I look for. The second thing is that AI text can have a lack of nuance a lot of the time. So it's quite flat. It doesn't give other perspectives. There's no like real deep personal antidotes the conclusions are quite generic and quite direct and I don't know I just feel like there's something about looking at the way that the text is written and the things that are included within it especially if it's like a critical piece or something where you do need to have quite a lot of like personal insight the third is that the transitions between sentences or connecting sentences tend to sound quite robotic so this is where it's using the same kind of linking words again and again and again I, I know that people do do that but especially in AI it can be the case where you just don't change what it just hasn't changed how it's linked sentences together and this is a bit of a giveaway and telltale sign the fourth is that it can be a little bit too organized i know that this is starting to sound like a perfectionist a nightmare but but it really it really is because most people are not like that most people don't have perfectly structured headings and perfectly structured and formatting just not something that people do consistently which is why it's in the mark scheme as the top so if you're finding that you're looking at text and you're like this looks like it's a little bit too perfect it's a little bit too structured it could be ai the fifth is that you might find some contextual errors this is where the ai has missed adding context and there are weird jumps between topics or weird jumps between different sentences and actually sometimes even the sentences might be incomplete and it just doesn't sound right this probably is ai the last is that it lacks creativity and humor with ai unless someone specifically prompted the ai to add humor which you can do by the way most people again will not be doing that this is the large majority they won't won't be able to or won't know to prompt like that generally the the way that ai is written will be quite bland it doesn't really have any human connotation it lacks like emotion essentially so how can you ensure that ai text does not get flagged by a detector if you are writing something and you think how can i make sure that even though you have written it how can i make sure that it doesn't get flagged the first is add some personality i've just told you that ai has no personality it's quite dry it's quite bland emotionless add personality add a personal story add something that's relatable add a joke make a mistake write about an experience that only a human could write about because only the human would know what that experience is now, gone are the days where you need to sit there slaving away to write your PhD thesis. Well, now there's something called Thesis AI. And Thesis AI is an AI assistant that allows you to import up to 100 reference papers and research papers to then write your thesis or scientific research article. You can decide on the citation style, the citation level, the document language, and then you just simply upload all the research papers that you have into a thesis AI. And what this does is it then asks you for a prompt. And here you have to give some information as to what kind of document it is that you are writing about. So this might be you saying that you're writing about a literature review or you're writing like a critical discussion or just going into the detail of like the style of writing that you're looking for. So here I've said that I'm writing a literature review um, about this particular topic. And for this topic, I've said that I want a critical focus on evolution um, and biodiversity, which is what uh, the research papers are um, in my folder. And then I have to wait up to about 30 minutes, but it's usually a lot less. And then I get a full document. Now, of course, you're not going to copy and paste this document and submit this document as your own, but it's a really good start and it's a really good way of getting summarized information about a set of research papers that you have identified as useful. So what I can do now is I can open up my uh, research paper on Overleaf and then I can either just 
uh, take it as is and use it for my own research and reading and understanding, or I can edit. So here I can add spaces, I can delete things, I can get rid of things, um, add more information, uh, change the formatting, and even just add comments and annotate it so that I can remind myself of certain sections. And I think this is a really good great way of taking a set of research papers that you have identified and discovered and then getting it into a piece of uh, research and writing that is useful for you to summarize everything that's been given. So I'll leave the link for it down below along with a discount code um, and let me know if you use it and let me know if you find it helpful. The second is to add some imperfections. Don't make sure that the text isn't the same length. Make sure that the paragraphs are not the exact same number of sentences and make it a little bit imperfect, which is human. <laughs> like make it sound like you wrote it and you weren't thinking about how many sentences were in each paragraph because you don't do that. The third is to use some niche language. So if there's some slang or if there's like a word that is relatable to your area or something that you would only be using as a human in wherever you live, that in. I know that it might not sound as academic, but it does make it sound like it was a human that wrote it and not an AI. You also can refer to like any recent events that have happened or any news articles that have come out recently if that's relevant to your work because that's something that AI wouldn't have picked up on just yet. You want to make sure that you're blending your sources and your paragraphs together thoughtfully and this is something that AI might not do properly so it has your sources, it has your ideas and it just kind of sticks them together but what you can make sure you do is add them in in a synchronous way and you're able to synthesize ideas in a way that AI can't. The next is to think about your tone. AI tends not to have a very clear tone. It would usually just be quite bland and monotonic. But if you think about how to avoid AI, try to inject a bit of a different tone based on what it is that you're writing. So sometimes AI can miss this if you're writing for a certain audience to have a certain tone and just consider that when you're thinking about your, your writing. Another thing that I really find useful is to embed questions or self-reflection within your writing. Just asking yourself a question or asking a question to the audience and something that I find that AI doesn't really do that much is something that we do when we're as academics but AI yet hasn't quite got there yet or like self-reflecting statements for example it's fascinating that or I found it interesting that and then lastly manually rewriting certain sections you might feel like actually there's not much that I can change about this section it just sounds really bad it just sounds really AI just write it again manually don't get a tool another tool to do it write that section all over again take different parts of it mix it up jumble it up but just start from the beginning because that's usually that's one of the best the easiest ways to make it sound not so AI what I recommend that you do read the sentence out out loud and write it again in your own words at first it won't sound very academic because obviously it's really messy but over time like as you edit it you can make it sound better and then it'll be completely new and completely generated from scratch i hope that these are tips that help you avoid ai detection this is not tips by the way that i'm telling you to go and cheat and <laughs> copy and paste and then use these these are tips that let's say you did you were innocent you did write the text yourself and you want to make sure that it doesn't sound ai these are some things that you can think about let me know if you have any, any other questions I'd love to hear from you and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.